Alright guys, you're going to be on an awkward angle today, so I really do apologise for this. But we have two things to talk about today. And um, the first thing is actually in this dear envelope. Today in the UK was results day, because I know some of my viewers are American, so I don't know if they have the same or something. But um, here's my results on the back. There. Um, I passed all of them, which was absolutely great, and that has made me feel absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I got a few A stars, C's, B's, yeah, and I got one D in science, but yeah, not that bothered. <laughs> yeah, um, sorry, I don't, I don't want you to be. Eh. Right, and the second thing about this video is ALS. Now, I posted a video on Wednesday, no, Tuesday, saying I will do a video on Wednesday. Now, I've been thinking, I've got no ice here, and I don't have a big bucket. I was going to use a sandpit lid, like a really big sandpit lid, and I was just going to get a bunch of people to sip it on me, but then I thought, no. So, I'm going to do it when I go down to see Alice um, next week. Um, so, I'm sorry that I can't post a video until then of me doing the ice bucket challenge, but I am a big supporter to fight against ALS. Um, I actually, there's a friend of mine in the UK who has a family member that um, is currently, you know, surviving from it. So I've, I've heard. Um, but I also saw this video of um, this nice young man. He's about 26. And um, he got diagnosed with it when he was 25. And I'm going to be honest, it was really emotional for me. And when I think about it, that's only nine years older than me. And it's kind of scary to think that people in a similar age range of a decade are being affected. And it really does scare me. Um, I have already made a donation to a, um, the ALS Foundation, whatever it is. I already made a £30 donation. Um, my aim is to try and raise £100, maybe more. Um, so I'm going to be busking and I'm going to be doing all sorts of different things to try and help raise money. Um, so, and yes, I will be doing the Ice Bucket Challenge, just I'm not sure when. Okay, um, I'm hoping maybe it will be, like next. it'll definitely be next week. It's just a matter of picking when we would actually do it. So, yeah, I'm sorry that like this video has been a bit quick and short but I just needed to you know give you information about this and uh, if you have any ideas on me how to raise money for ALS um, please give me some ideas you know because not everyone wants to donate to ALS like p people prefer to go to fundraisers and then the money all gets given to ALS instead of it coming in like you know old yeah there's two pound like that so if I collect like maybe loads of two pounds, so then eventually I could end up with like maybe another thirty quid, then or thirty pounds or whatever, I can just bung it straight to them. You know, it's just one of those things. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Keep being awesome and uh, comment below or suggest to me whenever things that I can do for fundraisers and even get involved as well, and you can help me raise some money for ALS. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, still deciding on what to do, and um, yeah, I'm happy that I got the results I wanted for my GCSEs, which is great, and now my next aim is my A-levels and raising money for ALS. Thank guys, keep being awesome. Bye.